In this lecture, we will learn about DFA for complement reversal and concatenation of languages. Okay, so let's try to see this. So first is we will look at complement of a language. Okay, so if L1 is a set of strings, so complement. So let's say L1 is a set of strings with even number of ones, and your sigma is zero comma one. So we have even number of ones. So what will be the complement? So even number of one means L1 is 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1. So it tells that we have even number of ones. 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1 0, 1, 0, 1, 1. So these are all even number of ones in the string. So what will be the set of strings? Uh, the complement of this will be strings with odd number of ones okay so let's try to make the make the automata for this so even number of ones so you have sigma is zero one so if i get a zero the count of one doesn't change it remains even zero one so one one it is odd so i don't have the accept state two ones i am again in the accept state Three ones are not in the accept state, four ones I'm in the accept state, and so on. Now, if we have what here? So the automata for the DFA for odd number of ones is one I accept here, odd number of ones, two ones I don't accept, three ones I accept, and so on. So these two are the complement of each other. Let's try to see now what happens. So in the complement DFA, your final state will become non-final. So final state becomes non-final. This becomes non-final and non-final state becomes final. So this is the only simple work you have to do to find the complement of a language using DFA. So if your F was for the initial final state set of final state q minus f will be the final state for your complement let's check this rule with another example l1 is number of zeros is divisible by 3 so l1 bar will be not number of zeros is not divisible by 3 so this if you see again so final state is a 0 zeros is allowed but 1, 0, 2 zeros are not allowed, 3, 0 is allowed, 4, 5 not allowed, 6, 0 is allowed. But not divisible by 3, I will take 1, 2, not take 3, take 4, 5 and so on. So it's again, your final states are only changing. Okay, so this is about the complement of a language. So you just make the final set for the, for the L bar, you take it as q minus f these are the final states everything else remains the same okay so if it is q sigma delta q naught and f this is for l okay then l bar will become states will remain same sigma remains same delta remains same q naught remains same only thing is that the f becomes q minus f this is the simple thing for complement. Now take the reversal of a language. Okay, so let's see again with one concrete example. So L is set of strings. So we have sigma as a b set of strings starting with a and ending with b. So a b is the smallest such string a a b a b b a a a b a a b b also they are all starting with a and ending with b now reverse will be what reverse will be b a i'm just reversing these strings b a a b b a it becomes b a a a so this is there b b a a so now what we observe in these strings so they are and st starting with b and ending with a so this is set of strings starting with B and ending with A, the reverse one. So now let's try to look at the L and L reverse DFA. So this is starting with A and ending with B. So I will not go too much into details of how I do it. So this is the DFA for starting with A. It's starting if it starts with B, it is going into dead state. 
if i get more a's it is fine but if i get b then i go to final state if i keep on getting b it is fine if i get an a then i go to this state and i should get a b in the end so now to reverse what you need to do is you make the start state initial state as the final state okay so i make lr if you want to obtain you make the final state of this one as the initial state so i made this here so let's name this a b c and d so now a b c and d are here i make a the initial state the final state here becomes the initial state okay and then what happens now i reverse and then the initial state here becomes the final state now if you see all the transitions are reversed so edges are reversed symbols remain the same a was here from b a to b now it becomes b to a this was from a to d now it becomes from d to a a b d the loop remains the same from same node to same node now let's try to see what happens in this one so this if it starts with b it is fine and then it is ending with a okay but it is not a dfa if you observe this is not a dfa it has become a nfa now non deterministic finite automata where with b it remains in the same state and it might go to the other state and then in fact this has become a dead state but we are not considered about making a minimal dfa okay so this you can remove but the idea is that if you reverse the edges make the start state as the final state and the final state from here as the initial state so you will get a dfa or nfa basically of fa finite automaton which will be the reverse of the language okay now one question remains here is what will happen if there are more than one final state so try to check the answer for that then let's see about concatenation again we will look with one this concrete example l1 is string starting with 1 l2 string ending with 0 so l1 is 1 1 0 1 1 1 0 0 so on l2 is 0 1 0 0 0 all of these are ending with 0 l1 dot l2 is concatenate concatenate the first word is from here the second from here and you choose like this so here are some examples we will see that all the strings are starting with 1 and they are ending with 0 so now if i make such automaton so first one is string starting with 1 so it is starting with 1 here then i can take go to any uh, so you take 0 or 1 it's fine it is accepted but if initially you get a 0 i go to a dead state 1 0 everything rejected now i cannot go to the accept state l2 which is so if i get 1 initially it is fine nothing matters but you should get 0 in the end so 0 in the end is fine but if you get a 1 from here again i go to this state and i am waiting for a 0 so l1 and l2 are here now i need to make string that starts with 1 and ends with zero so it starts with one you can get many ones as many ones you want you get a zero in the end then it is accepted even if you get more zeros it's accepted because in the end it's zero if you get a one again i go to this state waiting for a zero to go to this state and if you initially get a zero it is rejected now if you see what is what is there in the concatenation so we will observe that final state of l1 is combined with initial state of l2 so if you see here clearly so this 0 1 it is here okay so this is here it It is one on here. It goes to one and zero, it, and then you have a zero, one zero. Okay, and then again, now let's try to see 
the second one so it is here if you see a one is here zero one so this state and this state are merged and you need to see what will happen to the transition here okay so this is l1 dot l2 so i hope you understand all the three things the concatenation reversal and the first one what was it so it was the complement so that's it for this lecture thanks a lot